So the big five are what I found at about year nine in practice were what most people were talking about and complaining about and wanting to deal with. And I realized when I had this one patient whose labs we're going to look at in a minute named Barbara, who was from Texas. We were talking about her last night. Um, she came to move to San Diego and um, was getting her, she had just got her graduate degree in, in psychology and was doing her internship and sort of postdoctoral work in San Diego. And so this large, imposing woman comes in, she's fresh out of Texas, parks her pickup truck in front of my clinic, runs in and sits down and looks at me and says, I'm fat, fatigued, and depressed, what are you going to do about it? And you know, I'm a California boy, I grew up in Berkeley, and I'm thinking, wow, lady, I don't know. You know, I was scared, like she intimidated me. And usually patients are rather deferential, and this one was like challenging because she was from Texas and she was driving a truck and she was Barbara. And so I panicked, you know, and, and I, in the middle of the panic, realized, wait a minute, I actually have an answer for her. And she just sort of forced my brain to gel and to realize that patients were always complaining about these things and that there's a big disconnect because on the doctor side, we're worried about body systems and functional medicine. And that maybe, and this started with Barbara, I could try to bridge this gap and explain this in a way that people would understand that their symptoms were important and I cared about their symptoms, but that we're not going to do a symptomatically oriented treatment because if you try to fit, fix each of these individually, you end up with some weight loss drug, which would be an amphetamine, probably an antidepressant or two, maybe an anti-anxiety drug and some female hormone prescription, right? None of which are very good ideas. Or you could throw in some Zantac or something, right? So clearly that wasn't a solution. And what we're looking at in terms of solutions is figuring out these three body systems, hormones, GI, and detox, through lab work, testing them, and then seeing what's left over. And many, many times when you go through this process, by the end of the process, you know, there's no symptoms left over. And so the other thing that Barbara forced me to see was this. And I had been looking at this for nine years then, now it's been 22 years, and I didn't really get it until that moment where I realized that people, because I had to come up with an answer for her on the spot, right? This is like the pressure that you're under when you're in practice, all the doctors can relate to this. Because people ask you questions, you're like, holy crap. <laughs> you have to make up something that sounds pretty good, right? <laughs> Or people aren't going to, they just get up and walk out. So what I, what I really, it's true, right? We were talking about this in the break room. You should listen to the break room. It's where all the good discussions are. That's why they call it practice, because we really don't know what we're doing. <laughs> and so uh, something always happens first. Someone dies. Someone gets divorced. You have your second or third kid. You go through a financial crisis, and you're working three jobs. There's some underlying stress trigger. The problem is that that's usually in the distant past and not the day before the person came into your clinic. So you can go for decades in practice and miss the fact that the original source of your person's problem sitting in front of you came about during an emotionally traumatic and stressful time in their life. And I used to think this was just my practice, but I've trained over 700 doctors now, and we have labs every week by the dozen coming in with the patient history, and the most common Original, original cause of that person's underlying health problems was when they were going through an intense emotional stress time in their life. And it's oftentimes 10 or 15 or 20 years before they end up stumbling into a functional medicine doctor's office. So if you think back on when were the most intensely stressful periods of your life, and within a year or so of that is usually when the original thyroid problems started, the original weight gain started, the original fatigue started, whatever that may be. But it could have been 10 or 12 or 15 years ago. Once that stress goes on for long enough, the adrenal glands burned out, burn out. We're going to talk about that tonight in detail. When that happens, you pick up pathogens. You develop leaky gut, right? Now you're going to start to be reactive to food, even foods that should be good for you. Your gut lining is going to become compromised. You're going to pick up pathogens. And eventually, all that contributes to a toxic overload on the liver. And this is the basic model that we work with and that I teach. And it's been quite successful for patients all across the world. Now, if you accept that as a model where stress is what gets us into trouble originally, then this is a natural consequence, which is that we're going to then test and correct these body systems in the order in which the problems occurred. And in fact, in my practice, we do all these things at the same time, right, on the first visit. We're going to test and correct the hormones, the GI tracts, and the detox systems. It's three labs, three tests, and see where the problems are and fix each one of those systems simultaneously. All right? Pretty straightforward. And the hallmark of this kind of work 
is right here, which is that it's not just about labs and supplements, but there's this huge overarching 60-80% majority of the solutions that are coming from lifestyle-related changes. Stress reduction, eating well, which is what this whole weekend is about, right? Healing diets, spiritual emotional connection, and making sure that your exercise and sleep are dialed in properly. So that actually is the initiator of the treatments. The lifestyle changes initiate things, then we start to fix things with the labs. And if you're not in a position financially or emotionally where you want to see a doctor to do all this stuff, then you start here anyways, right? Give yourself three to six months doing all this work. If it's not enough to reverse your problem, then you can move on through.